Is there a place in the greater Chattanooga area that has tons of suburban housing options and is super nature friendly? You're about to find out. Hello there, this is Robert C. Baker with Move to Chattanooga and United Real Estate Experts where we teach you everything you need to know about relocating to the greater Chattanooga, Tennessee area. You know, there's one place in the greater Chattanooga area that's seen a lot of development and home building over the past 20 years, and that is Ultawa, Tennessee. To this day, you can still see farms and farmland, but more often than not, you're seeing new suburbs and new homes constructed in those suburbs. I'm here today in Ultawa's super cool Cambridge Square, which is a mixed-use facility having doctors and professional offices, some really good restaurants, which I'll mention in a moment, and also some brand new housing. But before we get into that, I want to share with you two interesting facts about Ultawa. First, did you know that how to pronounce Ultawa? Ultawa is popular on Google search? It certainly is. People want to know how to pronounce Ultawa. I know that when my out-of-state clients call me, they're very concerned about pronouncing Ultawa the right way. Now, I tend to pronounce every syllable, every consonant and vowel, so I say Ultawa just like I say Chattanooga. But most people who live in Ultawa pronounce it Ultawa. Then again, if you speak to Siri on your phone, most likely Siri is going to direct you not to Ultawa, Tennessee, but to Ottawa, Canada. The second fun fact is this, Ultawa is not a city. I know, right? Most people think that Ultawa is a city, but it's not. It's a census or a geographic area. True, Ultawa has its own zip code, 37363, which also covers part of Chattanooga and Collegedale, but Ultawa may be located within the city of Chattanooga, the city of Collegedale, or perhaps lies in an unincorporated area of Hamilton County. Now that's really important to know because your address in Ultawa will determine which fire company services your home, which trash company you can employ, and it will also determine how much property taxes you pay. So for example, if you live in an unincorporated area of Hamilton County, you will only pay county property taxes and not city property taxes. If you Google Ultawa, Tennessee, you're going to see a long irregular area located between Harrison and East Brainerd to the west, McDonald and Apison to the east, an area almost halfway to Georgetown to the north, and the Georgia state line to the south. You'll also see I-75, which bisects Ultawa. Now, exit 9 is the exit you would take in order to enter Collegedale, and exit 11 is the exit you would take in order to access the primary shopping and business areas of Ultawa. Since Ultawa is so close to I-75, it is really easy to reach Chattanooga's airport and the downtown or city center area. Say, if you're enjoying this content, be sure to click the like button and subscribe for future videos. Thank you. Since I help folks to buy and sell real estate in the greater Chattanooga area, folks ask me about home prices in places like Ultawa. Now, you probably know by looking at my other videos, I don't talk about median home prices so much because the housing stock in the greater Chattanooga area really is diverse. For example, if you only have two homes in a given area and one is worth $100,000 and the other is worth $1.1 million, does the average or median sales price of $600,000 tell you anything? Of course not. That's why I prefer to talk about the percentage of homes that have sold within a certain price range during a particular time period. That gives you a much better picture of how much homes cost in places like Ultawa. And in Ultawa, as of March 18, 2022, 426 homes sold within the past six months. 20% were below $300,000, 28% were between three dollars and $400,000, 25% were between four dollars and $500,000, 20% were between five dollars and $750,000, 4% were between $750 and $1 million, and 3% sold for over $1 million. So while over 50% of homes sold in Ultawa during this time period were between three dollars and $500,000, over 20% of homes were priced $750,000 or more, which for the greater Chattanooga area speaks to a luxury market. When it comes to public education, Ultawa has four elementary schools, two middle schools, and one high school. Additionally, there are religious or faith-based schools. Ultawa has a number of healthcare options, including AFC Urgent Care, Sintef Medical Centers, Tanova Primary Care, Ultawa residents also travel to nearby Erlanger East Hospital in East Brainerd, the Park Ridge Valley Campus in East Brainerd, and Park Ridge East Hospital in East Ridge. 
Ultawa also has several of the region's top senior care facilities. When it comes to employers, Ultawa is close to Enterprise South Industrial Park, the home of Volkswagen's North American Division, Amazon, FedEx, and your stamp. McKee Foods, maker of the famous Little Debbie Snap Cakes, is located in nearby Collegedale, as is Southern Adventist University, which is another major local employer. Enjoying nature, the city of Collegedale has a number of parks and greenways for residents to enjoy. A favorite for kids of all ages is Imagination Station. This park is located right behind Collegedale City Hall and has stationary exercise equipment, a caboose and train platform, pickleball courts, and a pavilion that you can rent for private events. Collegedale's Dog Park is a favorite for dog lovers and is located at the east end of Wooltever Greenway. If you're plugging in the address, the park is located at 5225 Talent Road, Ultawa, Tennessee. Veterans Memorial Park serves as a reminder and witness to the heroism and sacrifices of those who've served in our armed forces. Collegedale's Veterans Memorial Park has flags of all 50 states, monuments, sculptures, a tank, two military aircraft, and a statue of Medal of Honor recipient Desmond T. Doss. If you watch the movie Hacksaw Ridge starring Andrew Garfield, you learn the real-life story of Tennessee's famous conscientious objector. Mr. Doss is buried in nearby Chattanooga National Cemetery, which is located about 20 minutes away. The Collegedale Greenway is a linear three-mile paved pathway that parallels much of Wolf Tiver Creek and its tributaries. Walkers, runners, cyclists, and skaters all enjoy the scenic Greenway. Collegedale also has the Thatcher Switch Recreation Area, which has a playground, soccer field, and a rentable pavilion, and the Nature Nook, which is a quiet area with trees that also has an open amphitheater. Also located nearby is the massive 2,800-acre Enterprise South Nature Park, which is chock full of natural goodness. In the park, there are trails for walking, hiking, running, horseback riding, and mountain biking. There are six miles of paved trails, five miles of mulched walking trails, and 10 miles of single track. There's also a 0.7 mile ADA accessible trail with ADA accessible restrooms and a picnic area. The park is pet friendly, but pets must be kept on a leash. Enjoy golf. Ultawa is home to the internationally known The Honors Course, a private golf course that has hosted numerous championships throughout the years, as well as the private The Ultawa Club, which in addition to a golf course has tennis courts and a swimming pool. Despite its size, there are quite a few grocery shopping options in Ultawa. In addition to Food City, Aldi, Publix, and a massive Walmart Supercenter right off of Exit 11, Collegedale is home to the Village Market. The Village Market is a regionally known vegetarian and health food market operated by Southern Adventist University. It offers a variety of meat substitutes, gluten-free foods, vitamins and supplements, and vegan alternatives, and it's located on 5002 University Drive in Collegedale. And when it comes to restaurants, coffee shops, and desserts, Ultawa is home to the super popular Wired Coffee, and for crazy good milkshakes, try the Whistle Stop Cafe. Here at Cambridge Square, you have loads of delicious options, including Il Primo for a fresh take on Italian, Fulin's Asian Cuisine, Lupi's Pizza, Southern Burger Company, Davis Wayne's Meat and Three American, Shane's Rib Shack, Neighbor, be sure to try their cheesy grits, Wine Down Bistro, 1885 Grills Southern Coastal Flavorings, and for sweets, try Tasty Scoops and Sweets for some really great ice cream. Suburban yet nature friendly, that really describes Ultawa. If you'd like further information, just give me a call or text at 423-443-1649 and watch this video next.